Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for software tips, tech tutorials, and everything in between. In today's video, we are diving into Test Rail, one of the most powerful test case management and orchestration tools out there. Whether you're a QA engineer, a project manager, or just someone trying to bring structure to your testing process this video is for you so we will walk you through everything you need to know from setting up your first project writing test cases executing test runs and tracking progress all in a clear step-by-step -step format so if you're ready to streamline your qa process and take control of your test management hit that like button subscribe and let's get started with test rail let's begin now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of a test rail. Now, there's going to be an option here to try it for free, absolutely at no cost. I want you to click that button so that you will be forwarded to a new page. And then from here, all I have to do is very simple. Just provide all the information needed and click the submit button. If you do, you should be able to receive a welcome email from test rail and click the confirm email, all right? You will be forwarded to a new page. And then once you have successfully created your account, you will be welcomed by a greetings from test rail. Now it's very important at this point to choose from any of the following because that helps the test rail algorithm to suggest and provide a custom dashboard for you depending on your goals and needs. Is it gonna be test automation, integrations, compliance, test case, migration, security, customization, user management, reporting, and traceability. Now, if you want to select all of these, and if you wanted to click on the skip, you can do that as well, all right? Skip all of them, click the maybe later, and you will be forwarded to the main homepage of a test rail. Now, from here, as you can see, you can add your first project to test rail. If you are not familiar yet, with um, test rail i highly suggest you click this add example project because what will happen is there's going to be two more options you can create an example project which is i highly suggest because you can explore a pre-built demo project to see how test rail looks at scale the uh, starting from scratch is something if you have already um, knowledge about test rail or if you have like a coding and developer background expertise i want you to click the create an example in this case i'm going to re rename that as and click the add example project okay so it takes a little while and at this point if you're having issues accessing the uh, test real website you might want to use a vpn because Test rail is imploring a thing called geo restriction in two specific regions and places. Now it takes a little while, but I am I assure you that it's moving on with the uh, first project. Now, as you can see, you have all these on the left side panel of your um, platform. You have all the features and tools that we are going to explore. Obviously, the project overview provides a high level summary of the entire test project, right? So you can see the uh, status of test cases, how many passed, how many have failed or are untested, active test runs and milestones and progress, all right? So you can quickly check how your testing effort is progressing at a glance. The to-do section here shows all the personal tasks and assignments for the login user, which is helpful if you are in a collaborative environment working with other freelancers, team members, even with your client. You can see test cases or test runs assigned to you, upcoming due dates, and of course, it's help, very helpful for testers to stay focused on what they need to do next. Now, the next is going to be the test cases. So the test cases is here where you can add a test case. All right, you can, for example, in this case, we're going to be um, choosing this. You can choose from the section of prerequisites, software and versions, hardware installations updates tutorial that we're going to do with that template is going to be behavior driven development exploratory session test case and test case as text so it's how you have all these options for example i'm going to be using the behavior um driven development you would notice that things are uh, changing okay so 
So for this, the title is going to be, let's say in this instance, we're going to use this as the project name and the preconditions. Now from here, you can add a next and add um, chess case. Certainly done that. And then there's going to be the test cases that is defining the scope of what needs to be tested, which is act as your test library. The test runs and results executes the test cases and record actual results. Right now, if you if you want to add a test run, you can do that as well. Right, you can put in the name here, references if you want, and click the milestone and assign to plus the data sets. Now you can comment, provide attachments and defect links, which is useful for, for tracking and managing executions of tests specifically for a specific version, build or sprint. All right, so you have all of these under your control. The drop down menu gives you the releases version. For example, if you're going to be using the release two, assigned to a specific um, member or your client using the data set, and you can have the description here. Once you've done that, click the add test run. All right. Now, again, you can track and manage all of these to a specific version build or sprint zero past and then the milestones define key goals or phases in your test project we don't have one yet so what we can do is click the add a milestone we can set the uh, name here if you have uh, the parent and references so this is going to be a progress linked to test runs or test plans you can have a start date and end date and completion status. You can use this to monitor progress against project deadlines or development cycles. For example, if you're using a sprint one or release 2.0, which is kind of really helpful in test rails platform. Last is going to be the reports. Now within this handy tool, you can generate insightful analytics and summaries about test coverage and quality. So you can uh, have predefined reports like test results over time, coverage per milestone, and a lot more. You can also have an option to filter the uh, custom reports. You have the activity summary. Of course, you can share task projects and outcomes with your client, your team member, so you can spot issues very early and improve test planning. Now, since we're going to go to the section right here, I'm going to go back. So the uh, chart is rendering. You have all the projects on the dashboard and the uh, cross project reports, which is kind of really helpful to get familiar and immerse yourself with the test rail platform. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on our dive in using test rail. So if you're looking for a structured, scalable and user friendly solution to streamline your QA process, test rail delivers from organizing test cases to tracking progress across multiple test runs. It brings clarity to chaos. It's especially powerful for teams working in agile and DevOps environments, but even a smaller teams can benefit from its detailed reporting and integration tools. So basically, it is definitely worth considering because it offers a great balance between simplicity and dev. Again, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more software and tech tutorials. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming guides. The question is, have you used test rail before or are you considering it? Let them know your comments and we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.